Hi boys and girls, it's Ms. Shager. Today we're going to start a series of lessons called My Money. And we're going to practice identifying coins. Let's get started. Align standards. Identify and combine values of money in cents up to $1 working with a single unit of currency. Identify the value of coins, pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. Keep in mind that kindergarten is working on counting right now, and that second grade is working on word problems and counting money as well. So this lesson is good for grades K, 1, and 2. Let's go over some vocabulary. Coins. What are coins? American coins are called quarters, pennies, nickels, and dimes. Currency. Currency is money that is used to in exchange for something you need or want. Money. Money can be coins or bills. Identify. That means to look at it closely, find the similarities and the differences and how you would describe it. And value is how much something is worth. Learning objectives, identify coins, penny, nickel, dime, and quarter, and know their value. I also hope you learn to relate money as an exchange tool that we use to purchase goods. Prior knowledge, sorting, and describing similarities and differences. Materials needed, paper, pencil, play coins, homemade coins, or real coins are optional. I want to challenge you with a scenario. Think about this scenario as we go through the lesson. You are in a candy store and you can buy a piece of candy for 25 cents. What coin would you use from your piggy bank? Let's begin with a penny. What is a penny? What size is the penny? Is it small? Is it large? The penny is small and the penny is made up of two kinds of metals copper and zinc and that gives the penny its copper brown color. If you touch the outer side of the penny around the circle it's going to be nice and smooth. Let's look at the front of the penny. What do you see on the front of the penny? I see the 16th President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln. And above Abraham Lincoln are the words, In God We Trust. And to the right of Abraham Lincoln underneath his chin is the year the coin was made. And to the left of Abraham Lincoln are the words, Liberty. Now let's look at the back. The back has a shield on it. And it has the words, One Cent. And it has the words, E Pluribus Unum, which is a traditional United States motto, meaning one of many. And then at the very top are the words United States of America. This is a penny. How much is a penny worth? How much is a penny worth? Did you say one cent? You're right. Remember, on the back of the penny, you can find out how much it is worth. Can you find the words one cent? Are they on the top or the bottom? They're on the bottom. One cent. And can you write one cent? Get your pencil. Let's try. Write a number one first. Then write a lowercase c and put a vertical broken line. 
vertical line on the top, vertical line on the bottom, and that's called the cent sign. Nice job! Way to write one cent. If you didn't have paper or pencil, you could sky write or practice on the screen with your finger. Now, hmm, what could I buy with a penny? What could I buy for one cent? Could I buy a piece of candy for one cent? What is a nickel? A nickel is a coin that is made from copper and nickel. Its color looks silver. Is it a small, medium, or large coin? I think it's a medium-sized coin. And how does the coin feel around the outside? Is it smooth or rough? It's smooth. Let's look at the front and the back. On the front of the coin, we see the third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson. To the left of him, we see the words, In God We Trust. These words were put on there in 1956. Dwight Eisenhower signed into law a bill declaring the words, In God We Trust, be put on the coins. The year the coin was made is on the right, along with the word liberty. Now let's check out the back. On the back is Monticello, which is Thomas Jefferson's house. Wow, that's a big house. And then there's those words again across the top, E Pluribus Unum, which is a traditional U.S. motto, one of many. Underneath his house is the words five cents and United States of America. How much is a nickel worth? How much is a nickel worth? Did you say five cent? You're correct. Can you write five cents? Write a number five and draw the cent sign. Very nice. What could you buy with a nickel? What is a dime? Dimes are made out of an alloy, which is a mixture of metals. They are made out of copper and nickel. Before 1965, the dime was made out of silver. How do you think the edges of the dime feels? They have ridges around the edges, so it is rough. And the dime is considered the smallest coin. Let's look at the front of the dime. On the front of the dime, the 26th President of the United States, Franklin D. Roosevelt, is pictured. The words, In God We Trust, were added at the bottom and the year the coin is made is at the bottom. And on the left of Franklin D. Roosevelt is the word liberty. Why is the word liberty there? Liberty is there because liberty is one of America's most recognized symbols. She graced the first coin of the United States Mint that was ever produced. Let's look at the back of the coin. On the back, there's a picture of a torch in the middle, a picture of an olive branch, a picture of an oak branch, and the words, E Pluribus Unum. And the words across the top are United States of America. And down on the bottom, it says one dime. How much is a dime worth? How much is a dime worth? Did you say 10 cent? You're correct. Can you write 10 cent with me? 
use your sky rider or your magic finger or a pencil. Ready? Let's write the number 10. 1, 0, and the cent sign. The letter C with a vertical line on the top and a vertical line on the bottom. You wrote 10 cents. Good job. What could you buy with 10 cents? What is a quarter? A quarter is a coin that is made up of copper and nickel too. Is the quarter small, medium, or large? I would classify it as large too. And around the outer edges, it's rough. Let's compare the front and the back now. The front of the quarter has the first president of the United States, George Washington, on it. To the left of George Washington is Liberty. Then the year is to the right. And on the right is also the words, In God We Trust. Notice at the bottom it says quarter dollar. Now let's look at the back. On the back of the coin is a picture of an eagle and the words e pluribus unum and across the top United States of America and along the bottom quarter dollar quarter dollar refers to one-fourth unit of currencies that are named dollar normally one dollar is divided into a hundred cents making a quarter dollar equal to 25 cents. How much is a quarter or a quarter dollar worth? How much is a quarter worth? Did you say 25 cents? You're correct. Let's write 25 cents. Two, five, and the cent sign. The letter C with a vertical line through it. Good job. Let's move on to the scenario. Can you answer the scenario question? Remember at the beginning I gave you a scenario. You are in a candy store and you can buy a piece of candy for 25 cents. What coin would you use from your piggy bank? to buy a piece of candy. Did you say a quarter? You're correct. Nice work today learning about coins. Here's some extra fun activities that you can do. Visit the usmint.gov site. You can learn more information about U.S. currency and you can play some games. Or you can make a storefront at your house. Use an old cardboard box or just some chairs and a sheet and make a storefront or a boys and girls club and decide what you're going to sell out of your store. Are you going to sell food, clothing, toys? and then get you some money together. You could even make your own money too. I enjoyed learning with you today. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.